The following is a presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And we are live on Twitch at 8.05 on a Wednesday night. And of course, tonight's stream is made possible by a nice donation from Sports Simulations and Replays, the best place on Facebook to post your sports simulations and replay needs, whether it's on the PC, cards, and dice, or on a console. So, thanks for watching. And good evening, my name is Ron Juckett, and a happy holidays to you. You see the lights behind me, and yes, the cold is still here. It moved down just a tiny bit, but it's still there, and so... We're going to do a live unboxing, a virtual unboxing of Action PC Baseball 2020. If you're watching this live on Twitch, if you're on YouTube, you'll watch it later on there. But join us Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon for football if you're on Twitch live on the channel. And we'll be doing a baseball, we'll be doing some event next Wednesday night. That's Christmas night, by the way, about 7 p.m. And so we'll figure out that over the course of the week. So... As is tradition with all the action PC games, I'm going to install it for you so you can see it. We're going to install the 2019 season so you can see it. See if there's any new mods in the game or anything like that. And then actually play a game and probably do a replay of the uh, Nationals and I don't know, the Astros, Yankees, somewhere in there. Uh, but we'll go through. So without any further ado, oh, and also, if you're watching live, uh, here is your chance to put into the chat what you think uh, should be the season I replay starting in January. If you were with us last year or earlier this year, we did the 1982 season, did three games a week, uh, two live, probably two live and one on tape. All the way through to the World Series, which the Montreal Expos won. And as my buddy Tribes fan gladly tells me, maybe I'll give you a good Indian season to play. So you can have, um, maybe the Indians will win the World Series in real life because the Expos and Nationals matched. So, there you go. Alright, without further ado, let's install this game. You get the special uh, desktop version, which see everything so it's the same as always it's a winzip self instructor we run it helps if i hit the right button and if you got any questions whatsoever feel free to ask yeah we run the setup same as before, it's going to tell you when use and do you want to keep them and all that happy horse poop. Same as always, you click on the icon, it goes in. Baseball 2020. How about that? It shipped with 74 and 25. Yes, you always want to keep these, by the way. And the 1925 season, by the way, has as-played lineups. Well, that's new. I'm assuming I want to keep that. All right. Whether you... Okay. So you ready? Let's crash the computer, shall we? So the game itself, program files, 86, baseball 2020, baseball 2020. It's going to say, we even read these before. Oh, it loaded right up. Okay. Uh, we're going to load right into 2019. So, by the way, that's the th 
you get three seasons when you buy the deluxe version. 25 and 74 were late add, plus the 2020 version of Great Teams. This looks familiar. And you can see the mouse, yep. Installation complete. Real life st Oh, this is new. Okay, so this opens a bit different. Kind of lays them out a little bit better. And, of course, those are the real-life stats on the right. Tim Anderson hit 335. In real life, Christian Yelich, Ketel Marte, DJ LeMahieu. All right, let me, let me pin this. Okay, so that's new. I think the other thing that is new this year, and, yes, Anthony Rendon is gone. As this one has the new um, schedule screen. And since I haven't put any logos in. So yeah, so this is very much like what's now in the other games. As far as being able to have the revised schedule screen. You just come on, pick a date. Pick a date. And so for May 1st, you could do them that way. Does the day or night. The weather effects, I think, are new. And I haven't put any logos in, so we'll get to that in a second. So that's what the schedule screen looks like. I'll play human games last. If you look right here. So if you, check it, if you go through and say, I want to do X... Um, you can play the computer games first, especially if you're running the ticker. And you can set one team to be your favorite team in human managed. So we would set. So you can do it, do it right from that screen and set all the Washington games um, to human coached. Dave, we just opened up. I installed the season. That went very well. This is the new schedule screen. Uh, you can set it to be, you can do, uh, that's what that looks like. So that matches the other games. All right, let's go through and doctor up a team, shall we? Team information. This looks to be remarkably the same as it has been in years past. So we're going to do Washington, of course. Oh, this is new. Right here. Home Park DH. And it says use league rules. So for interleague seasons, it should automatically set it. I'm thinking that. All right, so let's change that to Nationals. And who we want to watch Washington play? I gotta find it. There we go. The Yankees, Atlanta, Milwaukee. Okay. Um, I'll do the Yankees. Just because it's easy. Mill, no, unsub. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So this has not changed from years past. The way you find logos. All right. Um, if they were manager pictures, you could put them here. Road uniform, same thing as before. And home uniform. All right. Okay. So the Yankees and uh, Washington are set. Let's take a look at ballparks. 
part data. I'm assuming this is always the same. So there's ballpark effects. There's the picture that we'll use. So that looks to be about the same. Um, I'll probably do a video to go that goes through this a little bit more. But there's nothing here that looks new. Maybe there's a new picture. God, that would be nice. Layouts. Ooh. Okay, so the new thing that looks like this year is I can tell... Well, let's take a look how the computer... Ah. How it laid it out. Okay. So, if you've never seen how the ballpark is laid out, we're going to play the, it's the same picture that I had before. You can see where the things go for the fences. So that plus left field is the top of the fence. The bottom and the white. Or the minus and the white. So you see how the fences are laid out. And the red is where the positions are. Or that two is, that's where the base is. And the new thing this year is... On deck road and on deck home. So there's a couple more things to add when you create the stadium. And so that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay? So the computer figured it out last year. This year you can set where the on deck circles are. All right, let's play an exhibition game. Make the Yankees the road team, Washington the home team. We'll just say May 22nd at night. So there will be no DH. Okay, there's no DH. Okay, this does not look any different. So you see the full screen, the play box. Oh, this will get all changed around. I'm not too worried about that tonight. The new thing to look for... Well, there's two things. On-deck hitter and current weather. Those are new this year. Player displays. Okay. I don't want small icons. I want large. And we'll let the rest of this kind of go in a moment. We don't do a uniform number. I do do fielding percentage. Video and sound. We'll let this one go. I'll turn down the volume though. Don't use narrator. that we can now oh that's new gang we now have a seventh inning stretch in a national anthem now if the computer if i get a copyright strike from youtube because i played the seventh inning stretch i'm blaming you guys we won't do the national anthem but we'll do that all right let's see if this is any different The Yankees use 30 pitchers. Holy crap. Font looks a little bigger, doesn't it? Domingo German is going to pitch. And the opponent, Max Scherzer, is going to pitch for the Nats. Uh, some of these people I've never heard of. So... This doesn't look that much different. As I said, the font's a bit bigger. That's the pitching screen. 
Oh, now you can see where the splits are. So if you're trying to assemble a lineup, so that'll be easier. It goes to average against the lefties and righties and on base and slugging and OPS and runs created. So this will actually help in games that I play tournaments in. So you can get a better sense of who it's better against lefties and righties. So, of course, it's all clickable. That's new. That's new. And the pitcher splits work the same way. That's very cool. Okay. And then now in the manager screen, you get the real versus re replay. So you can see how much usage is being done. And how many doubles and stuff. So that's actually a menu in Strat. That's actually quite cool. And the pitchers, too. So if you're trying to match innings, you get a good sense right here in how many they've actually thrown and how many has been in the replay, along with walks and strikeouts and, and some of the other things. Status is pretty much the same when they're active with the team, when they're unactive with the team. Usage. That's all new. So if you want to go through and, and not do an as played, it will tell you right from the game screen what it is. Okay. Box would be, oh my goodness. That's new. I'm liking this, gang. I'm liking this. Manager settings. The team stats, history for the year, and any notes on the player. So CC Sabathia, when he won the Cy Young, that would be there. Stanton in his MVP. All right. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. All right. Ooh. Welcome to Nationals Park for tonight's game between the New York A and the Washington. Domingo German takes the mound for the Yankees. He'll make his first start of the year. He'll be opposed by Max Scherzer for Washington. I turned it down. Is it still really loud? I turned the volume down to half. Can you hear me over the crowd, Dave? 79 degrees, wind speed is three. Not to right, and we have a 65. Ooh, we now barely. All right, I will change that in a second. But yeah, I know where to go. Hold on. This is new. The chance of rain is new. All right. References. Did that help? That doesn't take effect until I click out of it. So let me know how that's going. Lost two people in the process. Okay, so the scoreboard's new and now tells you the inning. That's cool. Could go down a bit more. Okay. Okay, that better? Somebody let me know if that's better. And I'll go through what I'm noticing here on the screen. Bring it way down. It is way down. Did you see where I had it? And I'll go further. I mean, that's almost dead.
That's at like 15%. Well, I haven't even played the game yet. So is the ambient, ambient still too loud? I mean, that's way down. Bring it down to five. Okay. All right. That good? Well, the volume works. All right. I, I haven't even done anything else yet. All you hear is the ambient. Okay. New things I'm noticing. You can see the mouse up here. It tells you what inning you're in, which is good because when it goes to extra innings, it doesn't show you the first nine innings there. Okay. And this is new to the weather. Click for weather report. Night game, 79 degrees. Oh, the temperature isn't on the screen anymore. It was up in that uh, that top row there. Wind at 3 miles an hour out to right field. 65% chance of rain. Okay. So let's go through the lineup, shall we? Didi Gregorius will lead off and play short for the Yankees. Ursula will bat second and play third for the Yankees. DJ LeMayhew, the second baseman, bats third. Aaron Judge cleans up in right field. Voigt, the first baseman, bats fifth. Brett Gardner, the left fielder, will bat sixth. Gary Sanchez behind the plate will bat seventh. Aaron Hicks, the center fielder, bats eighth. And because we're in a National League park, German, the pitcher. Domingo German will be on the hill for the Yankees this game. The defense for the Nationals. Juan Soto was a 7-3 and three and left. Victor Robles is a 10-10 and a 10 in the center. I think that's what he was when we did the World Series preplay. Adam Eaton is a 6-6 six and a six in right. Anthony Rendon, the world's newest Los Angeles Angel, is a 6 at third. Trey Turner is a 6 at short. Brian DJ Dozier is a five at second. Howie Kendrick is a five at first. Jan Gomes is behind the plate. He's a seven and six and on the mound. And they've really shrunk the size of that box, those stat boxes there, is Max Scherzer. Max went 11 and seven in 2019 with a 292 ERA. He was hurt. 172 in the third innings, 144 hits. 18 homers allowed. He walked his 33 and struck out 243. And Gregorius steps to the plate at 238, 16 homers, and 61 RBI. So any questions, let me know in the chat. We'll obviously be adjusting things beforehand. And, of course, let me know what season you want in the poll. 1978 is the lone choice so far. And I'd do that in a heartbeat. But now's your chance to say either in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat, what we'll have in the poll. So, Gregorius is ready. Scherzer's ready. Let's do this. And there's a liner in the right field in front of Eaton. Gregorius is going for two, and he's in there with a double. And I forgot to change the play-by-play -play to not be team called color, but we'll go that for now. Gio Ursula at 314, 21 homers, and 74 RBI. So... 79 is okay, so 78 and 79. And since Gardner, who loves baseball so much, he could give me a choice too. Um, Al Red Sox fan told me that he thought the play by play was smoother. So one on, nobody out for Ursula. Scherzer deals, struck him out, got him on a 3 2 win at the knees, one away. For D.J. LeMayhew, 327, 26 homers, and 102 RBI. Scherzer, from the belt, there's a fly ball to left. Soto in the foul territory, and somebody from Annapolis will make that play, and the count goes to 0-2. So Scherzer hopes to go about six. That's what a modern pitcher would go anyway. Pitch. 
And there's a ground ball past Kendrick. Eaton will pick it up. And the Yankees have runners in the corners. One out for Aaron Judge. 272, 27 homers, 55 RBI. So two votes for 79. But pick, yeah, that was the first good year. And wouldn't that be crazy? He needs that to do it, but he did at Yankee Stadium. I'm trying to think. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and California. That kind of sounds like what happened in my 82 replay. So 78 and 79 will be two of the choices you'll get to vote on. Pitch to Judge, and Scherzer, ground ball to third. Rendon, oh good, this is automatic. I'm going to go for two. So no throw home. Dozier for one, over to Kendrick. And Judge is out, double play. And so that will retire the side. No runs, two hits, no errors. After one half of one inning, it's the Yankees, nothing the, ex oh, the Expos. Yeah, right. Oh, in Montreal on the brain. The Nationals coming up. And Domingo German, 4.03 ERA, went 18 and 4, but only threw 143 innings and allowed 125 hits. 30 homers, he walked 39 and struck out 153. And the lineup he'll face. Trey Turner will lead it off at short. Adam Eaton in right will bat second. Anthony Rendon, Tony Two Bags will bat third and play third. Juan Soto cleans up and left. Howie Kendrick is at first. He'll bat fifth. Brian Dozier, the second baseman, bats sixth. Jan or Victor Robles, the center fielder, bats seventh. Uh, Jan Gomes, eighth behind the plate. And Max Scherzer, who threw 15 pitches in the top of the first, will bat ninth. Um, I'll go through them again. I can show you. This where I'm pointing to is different. It's now telling you the inning of the game. Oh, that's why. Okay. Thank you, Tribe Fan. Uh, and Tribe Fan says for those of you on YouTube, domestic violence ended German season early. So that's new. The inning, the inning that you're playing in. And you click on this cloud, and you can see it pop up on the screen. Click for weather report. And since it's Washington, Willard Scott would come out and say it's a night game. 79 degrees, winds at 3, blowing out to right field, 65% chance of rain. So that's new. Um, let me click on a player. This is what the player screen looks like. Doesn't look really any different from last year. If you go back, Dave, and watch the beginning of this, there's a, quite a few changes in the managerial screen, especially if you're looking to compare uh, real life to your replay. Usage has a bunch of new stuff, and it really breaks down the splits against lefties and righties for those of you who are looking for to create your own lineups. So run, some new defensive stats. It looks like run saved. Run saved for 162 and homers robbed. And again, the same as, you know, per team, game logs. The manager screen, that looks about the same as last year. Last year was a really big update for the game. Usage. In history, that all being year to date. So, hopefully, we got rid of all those. All right. So, Geidner is a six and a seven in left. Aaron Hicks a six and a seven in center. Aaron Judge an eight and a ten in right. Ursula is a six at third. Gregorius a six at short. LeMahieu an eight at second. Oops, no, I don't want that.
and Void is a five at first. We need an option to make Ron the narrator. Um, the beginning screen was different too, and I'll show that again after the game. So Turner at 298, 19 homers and 57 RBI. Jermaine deals, and Turner hits a fly ball into center. Hicks is there, one away. So really no real changes to the making of the stadiums. This, of course, is default. You can now add the on-deck circles and put them where you like. Um, but the manager screen, I thought, was, was one of those hidden gems. Here's Eaton. 279, 15 homers, and 49 RBI. Pitch, and Adams sends that one into right center field. Hicks is there for the out. Here's Anthony Rendon. We're going to miss him down in D.C. 319, 34 homers, and 126 RBI. Can obviously change the, how the lineups are set on the right, and by the time that I do the replay, we'll have that all set. But this is the way it is out of the box. I'm liking the default speed that Dave has is set up too. The volume, if you weren't with me earlier, is loud. Jermaine delivers, and there's a fly ball to center field. Hicks will go back and make the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. You see, now we're in the second. New York two, or New York nothing, the Nationals nothing. Changing logos and stuff, absolutely no changes in that. Luke Voigt, by the way, 263, 21 homers and 62 RBI. And Jermaine threw 11 pitches. I, oh, I didn't notice that. The ball shadow, it got bigger and smaller. Okay, well, I'll watch here. Scherzer deals, and Voigt strikes out. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed, and that's the second one for the mad one. Brett Gardner, 251. 28 homers, 74 RBI. Scherzer deals. Gardner strikes out. Well, I haven't seen a ball put into play yet. Two out for Sanchez. Gary at 232. Imagine that. He had 34 homers and 396 at bats and 77 RBI. Pitch from Scherzer. That's put into play. Gomes. Has it for the out, and the side's retired. No runs, no hits, no errors. Hitting and a half in the books, the Yankees nothing, the Nationals nothing. And so we go to the bottom of the second. Soto, Kendrick, and Dozier. Soto, 282, 34 homers, and 110 RBI. Here's the pitch. One in the right field. Judge goes back, makes the catch for the out. And this is Howie Kendrick at 344, but didn't have enough at bats to qualify for a batting title. 17 homers, 62 RBI. Jermaine deals in the right. Judge, way back, makes the catch. Two out. I'm sure there are some changes to the play by play. Here's Dozier. Dozier, 238, 20 homers, 50 RBI. And now you can see the wind direction has dropped, or the wind has dropped, to one mile an hour. DJ John, how are you on the left coast? Yankees and Nationals in just a kind of a pickup game here from World Champion National Stadium. Dozier deals, and there's a ground ball in the left field. That's going to drop. Yep, I did see the... Um, Ball shadow change there. So a single for Dozier, two out. First hit for the Nationals. There goes the no-hitter. Here's Robles, 255, 17 homers, 65 RBI. And if you're doing this later on YouTube and wondering what has changed, the front screen has changed a bit, and the manager screen has changed a, a lot too. So if you're not into as-played... Replays, I think you have a lot more options in putting together a cognizant lineup for yourself. Jermaine delivers, and Robles strikes out. He got him on a 1-2 pitch at 85, and that will end the inning. No runs, a hit, no errors. We played two, and still no score. 
Shuttleby Hicks, Jermaine, and Gregorius. And if so, if you're wondering, I usually had the lineups all solid in what they've done. This is what it looks like out of the box. Uh, and the volumes, John, especially the crowd noise, was quite loud from what I understand. We really, really turned it down. So, anyway, here's Hicks. Scherzer deals, and Aaron strikes out. 85 mile an hour, and because we're in a National League park... Oh, the DH rule is now defaulting to the park, which I like. So, no DH for this. A DH for, of course, if we were at Yankee Stadium. Jermaine, by the way, or Jermaine went 0 for 8. Scherzer deals, and there's strike three. So Scherzer threw 37 pitches in two and two-thirds innings, two hits, and five strikeouts. No runs. Gregorius doubled, by the way, his first time up. One for one, and that hasn't changed. You mouse over the player's name. And it tells you what he did during the game. No real op new options here as far as um, what you can do. You can pitch. You can pitch around, which I've never do. You can be aggressive with a hitter. You can intentionally walk them. And the things that are grayed out, you can pick them off and pitch them out. Here's your deals. Struck him out. So Max has struck out six through three. How about that? No runs, no hits, no errors. Uh, might be a patch up uh, this weekend. Al had two runtime errors today. Two and a half in the books, no score. So beyond Gomes, Max Scherzer and Trey Turner to face Jermon here in the bottom of the third. No score. Two hits for the Yankees, one for the Nats. Gomes, 223, 12 homers, and 43 RBI. Jermon deals. Gomes strikes out. You got him on an 0-2. That's the second one for Jermon. Hitting options here, it's the same as last year. You can hit, you can hit and run, you can sack bunt, you can take a pitch, steal, run and hit, you can hit bunt for a hit, and you can squeeze. And that's all keyboard driven if you want. I do it with a mouse. Jermon delivers and shares it right back to the pitcher over to first for the out, two away. So the two choices so far for the poll are going to be 78 and 79. I'd play some appropriate 70s music, but I would get copyright struck, struck by, or struck by YouTube. Domingo German, 29 pitches through his first nine. Two and two-thirds innings, a hit, and struck out two. Trey Turner's 0 for 1. German delivers, and Turner, ground ball to third. Ursula over to first, and that will retire the side. Nats go down in order. We played three. The Yankees nothing. The Nationals nothing. So as far as um, chalkboard changes, I'm not seeing anything different. Dave Gardner or Rec has caught um, that the ball shadow changes in size. But remember, last year was the big, big changes. Scherzer delivers. Got him. Two and two. Swung on and missed. And that's seven for Max. And the Yankees are stymied so far. But Mayhew has a single. He's one for one. One out. Top the fourth. Pitch from Scherzer. And there's a line drive to Rendon. And Anthony made the play. Two out. So DJ John wanted seven. You know, throw out some other seasons for other people to decide, too. So right now it's 78 and 79. Aaron Judge grounded into a double play his first time up. You know, everyone knows I really don't like the Yankees. I like Aaron Judge. I think he's good for the game. Struck him out. 1-2 from Judge. Two judges swung on and missed. And Max gets the side again. No runs, no hits, and no errors. He's thrown 60 pitches through four. Three and a half down, and there's still no score. Adam Eaton, Anthony Rendon, and Juan Soto. For the Nats here in the bottom of the fourth, Eaton is 0 for 1. Pitch. And there's a liner to LeMahieu. He makes a great play. A leaping catch to retain. 
tire eating. And here's Tony Two Bags. He's 0 for 1. The good thing about this game is for the Action PC line, it's quite mature. I'm not sure what else you could add to it. Maybe a little, some 3D figures for some animation. Jermon delivers. Struck him out. We've seen a lot of strikeouts, but it is 2019 baseball. That's three for Domingo. And that brings up Soto, who's 0 for 1. Jermon deals, and Soto in the shallow right. Judge will come in. He'll make the catch, and that's the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. After four, no score. We'll check the box score between the top, middle of the inning here. Voigt, Gardner, and Sanchez for the Yankees here. And Luke is 0 for 1. Scherzer has struck out 8. Scherzer deals. Struck him out. Make it 9. He got him on an 0-2 fastball at 93. On screen, this is probably the biggest change. You can now click for a weather report. It's not no longer in the... Um, top of the screen, which you normally don't see on my baseball broadcast anyway. So wind of one mile an hour out the center field. The temperature is 74, and there is still a 65% chance of rain. Gardner's 0 for 1. Shares her deals. In the right, Eaton going way back there. It's gone! So Brett Gardner breaks the scoreless tie with a home run to right. And so we're getting our first look at the replay. And yep, it's pretty much, oh, it adjusted. So a little bit of an adjustment there. Last year when you clicked the replay, it kind of tilted a little bit, but the players adjusted back to where they should have gone. And so one nothing Yankees. Getting beat again, guys. Gary Sanchez is 0 for 1. 1 0 New York. Sure's your deals. And there's a ground ball left side for a base hit. Anthony Rendon made a poor play. Let's ship his tushy to the Angels then. And so Sanchez is on first. And now you can see all the, th the options there. And I did not change the play-by-play -play text color. That's actually what comes in the game. It matches for the team that's at the plate. Aaron Hicks is 0 for 1. Scherzer and Gomes will have a conversation. Here's the pitch. And struck him out. That's 9 for Scherzer. And that will bring up Aaron Hicks. And because there's two out, he's not going to bunt. And he's only thrown 47 pitches, so the Yankees aren't going to yank him. Here's the pitch. Got him, and Scherzer has struck out 11. So a 2-2 fastball, swung on and missed strike three. A run on the homer by Gardner. Two hits and no errors. I'm going to play the whole game tonight. We're already halfway home. And then, you know, I'll take a few more minutes to entertain any questions you guys might have. But let's take a look at what the box score looks like for 2019, shall we? Pretty much the same. That's the complete. An hour, the weather, now tells a night game. Tells what time I started the game, what the date of the game is. And the date I started it and the actual time that I called it the box score, which would be 8.49 and 15 seconds. And we'll go through these screens one at a time. The batting, it's the same thing. That's the default. Nice large font for those of us with older eyes. Pitching. Again, during the game, that's pretty much the same. Scherzer struck out 11 through 5. That's insane. And then after the game, it will tell you um, whether they had plus stuff or minus stuff. Miscellaneous, pretty much the same. Doubles, homers, great plays, poor plays. Can't tell you an MVP yet. Yankee score sheet. If you're familiar with the game, it's the same as it was last the last 5,000 years. 
recap, which I believe was on the new last year or the year before. And the play-by-play, -play, which is pretty much everything that's in the complete. Okay, so for faster report loading, always right-click any white or gray space to close this report. If you go over a player and don't have the pictures disabled, that's what they look like. And it shows the ratings. Nice large font there. Didi Gregorius with Arizona, now with the Yankees. And I f he signed with Philadelphia. That's right. He's a Philly in 2020. So that hasn't changed either. Howie Kendrick will be back in Washington uniform in 2020. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. Got him. Strike three. So that's four. Kendrick chased a 1-2 out of the zone for the first out. Brian Dozier, by the way, singled. For the years that have them, of course, the uniform numbers are there. Jermon wore 55. Dozier, 9. No new tags in the field. Ground ball up the middle. The Mayhew by the bag at second over to Voigt for the out. Brings up Robles, who's 0 for 1. German delivers. Got him! So struck him out, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. After five, it's the Yankees one, the Nationals nothing. So Max Scherzer is giving me the fatigue warning. Yes, Dave Gardner is featured in the new edition of Sports Sim Magazine. And you can go look at their Facebook group at Sports Sim Magazine. And Dave talks about his experience with Stratomatic Hockey. Great issue, by the way. Highly recommend it. Um, so Sports Sim Magazine. And if you join the Facebook group, it gives you uh, all the instructions of either download, purchasing and downloading the PDF or, as Dave Gardner did, getting his own little print copy. And so he can show his lovely wife. So Gregorius is one for two through 18 batters. Scherzer, five innings, 83 pitches. He has struck out 11 and gave up the homer to Gardner. Brett, not Dave, and allowed four hits. Pitch from Scherzer is a liner in the right field. That's going to go back for extra bases. Eaton throws to second. And there's an injury. And Gregorius is hurt. But he's going to stay in the game. And I don't see an eye by there. And it didn't tell me that his performance would be uh, modified by the injury. So he rolled an ankle, let's say. Here's Ursula. Which is how Sean Connery would say one of his uh, Bond girls. Ursula Andres. Gio is 0 for 2. Pitch from Max is a ground ball to Turner over to Kendrick. And that's an out. So LeMahieu comes up one for two as we won out here in the top of the sixth. Scherzer deals. Gregorius on second. LeMahieu swings and misses. Or it was in there below the belt. One of the two. So that is the 12th strikeout for Scherzer. This one coming on an 0-2 pitch. And now bring up Aaron Judge. Here come to Judge. He is 0 for 2. He's grounded into a double play as well. And there's a fly ball to left. Soto in the corner in left field makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. Five and a half in the books. We're going to pinch hit for Scherzer here. Yankees won the Nats nothing. I wonder if Dave's still here. It'll be Gomes, a pinch hitter, and we'll show you the pinch hitting thing in a moment. And Trey Turner. Gomes is 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. And there's a little liner to short. Gregorius is there, and for the out, one away. All right, click to pinch hit for the pitcher. We will do so. So this seems to be all the same. Gives you the splits for the how they hit against the righty and lefty. With a righty, I'm going to look at a lefty. Use my best batter against a righty. 
I could go to I could go with Cabrera or I could go with a baby shark. So that has not changed. And that's what one baby shark looks like. So pinch hitting hasn't changed. It's one click and the stats that they show have not changed. And the layout remains the same that they spruced up last year. Pyra, by the way, 258 homers and 42 RBI. Pitch. And there's a fly ball to right. Judge makes the catch for the second out. Trey Turner is 0 for 2. Jermon threw 18 batters, 68 pitches, 5 and a 2 thirds innings. A hit and 5 strikeouts. Pitch to Trey, 0 for 2, and there's a fly ball to left. Gardner going back. He'll turn and watch it go. We're tied up. So Trey Turner homers, and it's 1-1 here in the sixth. Here's the replay. And you can see it shift back into place to look normal once the play starts. And I didn't see it, the ball shadow rose or shrunk. Anyway, two out, bomb in the six for Adam Eaton. There's 0 for 2. Pitch. And here's a ground ball right back to the pitcher over to Void. And that will retire the side. Nats get a tiny home run by Trey Turner after six. It's 1-1. One, one. And I need to put a pitcher in. So let's see if this is any different. And, oh, you can warm people up. That's interesting. Shows you who I'm facing and his splits against lefties and righties and who I expect to come up after. And with a righty, I guess it really doesn't matter. Justin Miller is going to come in. I could double switch. That has not changed from last year. I'm going to pinch hit for, you know, put him in par spot. And I can tell you that Miller went 1-0 with the Nats in 2019 with a 4.02 ERA, 15 and two-thirds innings, 16 hits, five homers. He walked four and struck out 11. I am feeling better. Thank you, John. Um... It's still lingering. It wanted to move down the chest, and so I took some meds for that this morning. And so far, so good. I, you know, pulled out cough. I did a cough drop before I started and did, have not reached for one doing this, which was not the case doing the football game yesterday. By the way, live on Twitch tomorrow at noon Eastern will be the Kansas City and Denver in our 86 football replay. Void is 0 for 2. Pitch for Miller. Here's a liner to third. Rendon will flag it. One out. So, you know, if you're not big into doing an update every year, I think it depends on um, what you want. The managerial screen, which I'll show again after the game, some big changes to that. Gardner, by the way, hit the homer to give the in the fifth to give the Yankees the lead. Or 1-1 one, one in the seventh. You can see that now displayed. That is new. Pitch to Gardner. Struck him out. So two out, one two off speed pitch, and here's Gary Sanchez. He's one for two with a single. Pitch from Miller. Got him! So stretch time here. This would be where I would post the Patreon ad, but I don't have that set up into the desktop display so you can see everything. So stretch time here. That's new with the game, by the way. That's not something I added. You can now add the national anthem and the seventh inning stretch. And so we'll see if YouTube says that's okay or not. 
But that is now the default in the game. And that's why I shut up so you could hear it. <laughs> It'll be Rendon, Soto, and Kendrick for the Nats here in the bottom of the seventh. Your main 73 pitches and two hit. Can I put some? I suppose you could put whatever it is as long as it's labeled right. I'm sure it's looking for a specific file name. Sweet Caroline, in my view, is one of the creepiest songs ever written. But yeah, you could, I suppose. Okay, so Dave talked about that. Pitch to Rendon is a liner up the middle, and Hicks will get that one. That was a laser shot to center, and it'll bring up Soto one out. So thanks for hanging in here on a Wednesday night. Juan Soto is 0 for 2. We will do a football game on Christmas, and then honestly, honestly, I owe quite a few Patreon games, and we'll start with those on Wednesdays after... Uh, the first of the year. You see, the weather now has changed. We're up to calm. We're still at a 65% chance of rain. But it's now calm. It's a Told you Soto's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. Got him. 1-2 curve. Strike 3. And that's 6 for Domingo. Kendrick is 0 for 2. Domingo at 80 pitches as we go with two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Here's the pitch. And there's a fly ball in the left center field. Hicks is there, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, and no errors. Miller gives me the fatigue warning with 11 pitches. I'll let him go after seven. It's the Yankees won, the Nationals won. Hicks is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch, and here's a ground ball to second. Dozier over to Kendrick for the out. One away. I'm sure the Yankees will pinch hit here, although Jermon has pitched a whale of a ball game. He's 0 for 2. Let's see what the computer does. Uh, did not. Oh, I got to set that. So I'm supposed to get warned when they make the pitching uh, changes. It's Mike Toshman, T A U C H M A N. Nestle makes the very best. And Toshman, who you could see with the Rockies, 277, 13 homers, and 47 RBI. Hits righties at a 247 clip. Pitch from Miller in the right field. Eaton comes in for the out. Two out. Miller is going to give me two innings here. Here's Didi Gregorius, who's double twice. He's two for three. Phillies, I think, made a good pickup with him. Although he didn't hit very hard. A good average. And that OPS of 717 isn't going to win you MVPs either. Here's the pitch. Gregorius into right. Eaton goes back and makes the catch to retire the side. Packy made a great play. I wonder if they'll change that. Jonathan Holder's coming in to pitch. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Yankees won, the Nationals won. Holder 5 and 2 with a 6-3-1 ERA. Well, I'm looking my lips at that. 41 in the third innings. 43 hits. He allowed 8 homers. He walked 11 and struck out 46. Dozier, Robles, and Gomes. And if anybody should reach a pinch hitter. Holder a righty. He's a 4 on the mound as far as fielding out a 10. Ground ball, Gregorius on the grass, has to hurry over to Voigt. And Dozier's out. So one out for Robles, who's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch. And there's a ground ball to Gregorius. Second verse, same as the first, two out. So for those of you watching on YouTube, because not getting the live interaction there. If you have questions, and we'll go through and take some more questions um, from my Twitch crowd after the game. Gomes, by the way, 0 for 2. I will do a follow-up video specifically for YouTube on questions. And let me know what season you want in the poll. Right now, it's either 78 or 79. Pitch from Gomes. There's a ground ball to Gregorius. It's going to be a clean sweep. 
Over to first, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. After eight, I assume that Dave's talking about the chat and not the baseball game, right? Yankees and Nationals are tied at one. And so Ursula at the plate, righty. Fernando Rodney's going to come in. Pitch the ninth. Rodney, 0-3 with the Nationals, with two saves and an ERA of 4.05. I think he came over from Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. 33 in a third innings, 29 hits, three homers. He walked 16 and struck out 35. Ursula LeMahieu and Judge for the Yankees. Hitter Turner and Eaton for the Nationals in the bottom of the ninth. Pitch from Ursula, or to Ursula, struck him out. Got him on a 1 2 on the outside corner. So many strikeouts. My goodness. LeMahieu, 1 for 3. That actually is accurate for the game. Remember, Scherzer lasted 6 innings and struck out 12. LeMahieu has himself a single. Pitch from Rodney. Brown ball to short. Turner, long throw to Kendrick. And LeMahieu beat it out. So, note there, there was not a long delay to see whether he was safe or out. So the go-ahead run is on first for Judge. And Aaron is 0 for 3. Rodney deals, and Judge strikes out. He got him on a 2-2 split finger. And Judge was well out in front of it. I really don't want extra innings. My voice is starting to go, you can't talk that much longer. Voigt, 0 for 3. Rodney, from the stretch. And there's a liner to left. Soto will dive. I'm glad that the out percentage chance is default. I'm going to say yes, and he makes the catch to retire the side. Ho, ho, baby. Juan Soto does his job. The Yankees go down. One run, six hits, no errors, and they've left four on. We go to the bottom of the ninth, 1-1. One, one. So right now, Holder is going to bat, or going to pitch. And we'll bring in Ryan Zimmerman. No changes, by the way, to that screen. If you have last year's, you know what this year's looks like. Zimmerman, 257, six homers, 27 RBI, and a World Series ring. Holder deals, and that's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. That went fast, eh? Throws to Void, and Zim is retired. So that comebacker went back at, like, 20s movie speed. Throws me off, and, of course, every ballpark's different. Trey Turner, one for three. His homer in the sixth. Tied the game at one. We're going to let this go ten innings. If it's not over by ten... We'll just let it go. Pitch to Turner. Into left. Gardner. Two out. Here is Adam Eaton. Adam is 0 for 3. What are your guys' thoughts watching this? About, about what you're seeing here. Pitch to Eaton. Ball four. And that'll do it for Holder. Adam Adovino comes in to pitch. Adam does wear the number zero. And I believe that's the last single digit number for the Yankees. It's not retired. Anyway, Adam, that's a good choice. He's six and five with two saves. An ERA of 190. 66 in the third innings, 47 hits, five homers. He's walked 40 and struck out 88. And Anthony Rendon is the man off the plate. He's 0 for 3. Eaton's going to steal. 93% chance of taking the base. The Yankees will hold him. And there goes Eaton. Sanchez throws down to LeMahieu, and Eaton's on second. The upgrade is good, Golf Guy says, for those who like to replay seasons. I think, and I'll go back and show that managerial screen again. 
If you like creating your own lineups and stuff, I thought that was excellent. And it does come, you know, if you just buy the basic game, it does come with greatest teams of all times and tournaments and stuff. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Lendon is 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. And that will retire this side. We're only going to play one more inning. Okay, because I, A, I don't want this to go forever, and B, I want to show off some other stuff. So with Brett Gardner, lefty, righty, switchy, We'll bring in Sean Doolittle. Doolittle. Six and five with 29 saves. 405 the ERA. 60 innings, 63 hits, 11 homers, 15 walks, and 66 strikeouts. Lefty, lefty, let's see what the computer does here. Gardner is one for three. It was his homer. That gave the Yankees the lead. He will stay in the ball game and hit a ground ball to Dozier by the bag at second over to Kendrick for the out. One away. I'm not ignoring what my family's saying, but I'm trying to zip through it so they can maintain some privacy. Gary Sanchez is one for three. Do little deals, and he got him. So 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed for strike three, and that'll bring up Aaron Hicks, who's 0 for three. A run on six hits, no errors for the Yankees, four left on. The Nats have been held to two hits, a run on two hits, and they've only left two on. Welcome to baseball 2019 style. Pitch to Hicks. Is a liner in the left field? That's a base hit. Hicks is not going to try and steal, and there'll be a pinch hitter here as Adeveno is not going to bat. So two out for Clint Frazier. Five fan, 267, 12 homers, and 38 RBI. Dave, what are you seeing in the game, if anything? Do little deals, and Frazier ground ball to Dozier over to first, and that will retire the side. So the Yankees can go no further as Tommy Canley comes in the pitch. Tommy 3 and 2 in 2019 with a 367 ERA. 61 in the third innings, 45 hits, 9 homers allowed. 20 walks and 88 strikeouts. Soto, Kendrick, and Dozier. <coughs> As I cough, let me get a cough drop in. All right. Excuse me. I gave you Canley's numbers. Soto 0 for 3. Here's the pitch. Ball 4. So the next man actually got a chance to win this game. <coughs> Great time for this. Soto has a 93% chance to steal. And Kendrick can hit... <coughs> and run. So Soto walked on a 3-1 count. Yankees will guard the lines. We will steal. Throw down to second. Goes into center field. And Soto's going to third. So now the infield will play in. The outfield's playing in. Because the winning run is on third base and nobody out. Here's Kendrick. He's 0 for 3. Canley's in a bit of a pickle. Here's the pitch. Kendrick and a ground ball up the middle. Gregorius will look Soto back to first over to Voigt for the out. One away. Infield and outfield playing in for Dozier, who's 1 for 3. Canley. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Could be Conley. Is ready. Here's the pitch. Got him to strike out. 
So Robles, 2-2, two, two, he swung on a bad pitch. And so Robles, the last batter of the game, because you figure, unless he walks, and then it'll be Jan Gomes. So here's the pitch. Runner goes in the left field. That's going to drop for a single. Good night. Drive home safely. The Nats win 2-1. to one. So the game over screen is the same. So here's the pitching. Expected pitch count. That comes after the game. And the stuff. Rodney had good stuff. Scherzer struck out 12 through 6. So again, no real changes here. The font, I think, is bigger. Batting. With 25 strikeouts in that game in 10 innings. My God. That really hasn't changed too much. You do not get an MVP in an exhibition game, which makes no sense to me. And they're claiming this. Oh, the time actually looked a little better. 3.04. And the recap. Nothing seems to have changed there. Okay. And so this is the lead screen here. Uh, now's the time to get in requests. What do you want to see that you might have missed earlier or want to see again? Remember, there are no cards to look at, so I, I can show you individual players if you want, but there's no real... ratings per se. You know, pitch speed, hold, and clutch, and all that. That has not... None of that's changed. So if you got last year, it's the same this year. All right, John. Have a good one. Can I put a hockey rink in the back? Uh, that, come on. Sure you could. You absolutely could. Let's screw up the chalkboard, which could. John, thanks for coming, buddy. Glad you liked it. And 78 your season, right? That's the one you want me to do? That's Pete Alonzo's quote-unquote card. All right, let's take... Oh. Dave, I don't know if I showed you this or not. This is what the schedule screen looks like. You can change the favorite team right from there, and you can set it to play human game. Okay, human games last if you want. So if you're familiar with the new things on how um, on the other games, it pretty much is the same for this. So so they're all there. Yeah, all four are the same. Let's say if I wanted to set up. playoff game this does not look any different Okay, that pretty much is auto set. Series formats, yep, two, three, two. Or you could go two, two, one, one, one. The five game series def is not right. The default is not, it should not be two, three, it should be two, two, one. And no one ever plays a nine game series. You can update the league records. You can read seed between there. 
And I think brackets, yep, you can actually set a 64 team tournament if you wanted to. Um, since this is the one I've dolled up, this is the one that gives you the new settings for lefty and righty, all the splits there, and the runs created, and their defense. That's all new. I like that. And the same for pitchers. Their splits against lefties and righties average on base and slugging so it gives you if you're more into setting your own lineups and such much more control than you had before I think anyway and how the replay is doing against real life so if you're a big stickler on usage you get that Let's go into rules, shall we? You can have a quick setup like this. Oh, you can set up the game time, play date and timestamp box. Set a league logo if you so chose. Quick league setups are the same. As played, all transactions, major transactions, no transactions, and alternate reality mode. I'm not people do that. I don't know if you see many replays though. In general, you see the new thing right here, Interleague DH Home League Rules. Okay. And they now have the new rules for Required minimum batters faced. So you can make you can change it however you want. If you want someone to face the required nine batters, you can do that. Set the number of mound trips, which never made any sense to me. Gonna have no pitch walk, intentional walks, rain delays, rain out, suspensions, alternate reality ratings. Ooh. Delete last play. Outfielders to play out of position. The ticker, of course, is back. Allow a quick pitch and hit option. You can have replays. How many reviews per team and when they go to the booth. That's new. Rosters. Oh, a mid-season roster. That's new. Opening day. You can set how many pitchers they use. 40-player, 40 40-man 40 roster in September and 25 for the playoffs. And the new additional players for double headers. Set how long you want injuries for. One game, multi game, or post game. Don't do it if you're doing it as played. And a maximum injury limit. Usage. As soon as I can click on it. You can play around with numbers. You can do it on at bats or plate appearances for batters. Innings or batters face for pitchers. That's pretty new. And you can set, I suppose, if you're in a draft league, whatever you want. So if you want to be a stickler and start limiting pitchers' abilities right at the line, you can, or within reason. And the pitcher's penalty would be to increase hits and walks. Again, great if you're in a draft league. The outcome box is not there. Quick play started last year. And you saw the info screen already. Anything else you guys want to see really quick? Well, all in all, in my view, 
I think it's a good update. I think it gives you, if those who don't want to do as played, some more options. It gives you a lot more information to work with. If you are looking for a major update this year, not seeing it. But it's not something I'm going to go and go, oh, that doesn't look right at all. Uh, a little bit of a change in the play-by-play, -play, th or the chalkboard at least, but not too terribly much. And because we had so many strikeouts in the ball game, it just is hard to tell. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please put in the comments what you want to see and tell me what year you want season to go in the poll. We'll start the poll over the weekend. I'll do a video on that and show you. 78 and 79 are what the people in the Twitch chat have chosen. And so you tell me what you want, and we'll put it to a vote. So there you go. All in all, I give this about four stars. It's a good game. It did need a lot of tweaks, and we'll be finding out things as we go along. But as far as virtual unboxing, it plays pretty well. And so there you have it. My name is Ron Juckett. Thank you so much for watching. My pleasure, guys. We'll talk to you tomorrow live on Twitch for football and on YouTube. We'll just talk to you when we can. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching.